Good evening everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshad Goda. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Dr. Roberto Nathan of Hazira 1939. Uh, has Dr. Roberto Nathan was the former extension officer of the extension service at the Israeli Agriculture Ministry and currently he consults a lot of orchards and nurseries uh, in South America and Israel. He has worked together with Dr. Ben Yakov the father of the Israeli avocado industry and he has done a lot of research on avocado root stocks in this episode we are going to talk about seedling versus clonal propagation of avocado plants if you have any questions about commercial avocado farming post your comments in the comment section down below and i'll reply to those questions uh, if i know the answer personally and if i don't know the answer then i'll create a separate video about it talk to the experts and get back to you with a proper answer Now let's carry on our discussion with Dr. Robert Onet. Now I want to talk about uh, clonal versus uh, seedling root stocks and which is better and why. Well, the original idea of the clonal propagation was to create what Professor Ben Yakov said, copy trees. You take a original tree and you can copy it. The original idea was that if you can copy it it will be the same. Every tree is a copy of the original and therefore if this is an outstanding tree in your field uh, you will be able because you know that in commercial fields you have 1 hectare of avocado but not every tree is the same. Some trees more some trees less some trees bigger fruits some uh, uh, smaller fruits every tree is individual the idea was to create copy trees by clonal propagation unfortunately until today uh, there was no success it doesn't happen in the field so the idea is excellent uh, the problem is that until today and i'm very careful because you never know what will happen but till today the moment we're talking we don't get because you should when you are clonal propagation what yeah. do you expect uniformity all trees are the same yes. it doesn't happen how come and not that and not that uh, the yields become lower as compared with the original propagation with seedlings so this requires further research and i wouldn't recommend it at commercial level for a grower to go for that it's in the level of semi commercial and of course research it requires more research the idea looks excellent the problem is it doesn't yeah. work until today So you, so you're saying, so you're saying like, uh, so if they've clonally propagated the root stock, crafted the clonally propagated scion, it would still not give a copy tree. We don't get that. That's the on thing. On the field, you don't get it. Doesn't happen on the field. It right. happens in nursery. The moment you, the trees, the seedlings are ready. Yes. to be transplanted transplanted into the or commercial orchard yes. over the years you don't get all the advantages that you expect from this kind of propagation because what you expect is a very uniform orchard high yielding etc doesn't happen right because That's i was under practice. the I was under the impression that like somehow clonal was better because it's new. No. But that was the impression I had in my mind. No, 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 it has nothing to do with new because new every uh, a new seedling it's in the, it's not even a new technique. The technique exists since the 60s or the 70s. Ben Yakov thought of that in the 70s. He already talked about making copy trees the problem is the idea it's perfect yeah uh, the problem is to put it in practice it does not work over the years because you cannot judge uh, you cannot assess the 
this technique in a couple of years. You need at least 10 years of yield to assess it. And in our experience, and we have a lot of experience in this particular technique, it doesn't work until today. I'm not saying it will never work. And I'm not saying stop the research, it's a stupid idea. It's an excellent idea, but until now, it doesn't work. You don't get what you expect. And this is the problem with, and this is the reason why uh, if you take avocado trees all over the world, a very small percentage it's, uh, has been propagated with this technique. And the reason is because it's still not commercial. Okay. We are still, we, the researchers are still working on this technique. It's, it doesn't work until today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glad that I could get it clear in my head. So, no, the idea is excellent. Yeah. The idea is excellent. I agree with that. Hmm. I've read research from Australia and they have come to similar conclusions as the Israelis that uh, seedling rootstocks that they use in Australia outperforms clonal ones, especially when it comes to Velvic, the Velvic rootstock. I hope you found the video interesting and insightful. That's it for this video, but please make sure to subscribe as I'm posting regular content on my channel. That way you'll automatically get notified when I post something new. Thank you for watching.